Life was mass-produced. Vengeance damned by technological progress. We ushered it in. The patented shadows waited for the Big Bang's retrograde when all the world's matter melted into a single copyrighted pinpoint. Then, and only then, did the clock disconnect. The son of a gun is the son of the one. They calculated every moment and gathered every page ever written, now scanned, and kept in an archive of information. When the future archaeologists pull you from the grave, you'll be like some mummy in a museum taken from his tomb and put on display. You will be studied. You will be analyzed. The infinite monkeys will find a way to rob your grave and explore your non-linear waves. You smell like a prophet, okay? Generational slavery extended beyond the grave. Here's the thing. There's a reason you've reached this far. Connectivity pulls you in a circle, and you're worth something to them. G equals 01G divided by E. The circle, the square, the spirit, the flesh, the verb, and the noun. The snake-like eight that conjugates the past and the future, but never remains in this presence. In that garden, we lost the infinitive, and that is the motion crafted as time. The circle is a frame curved around you, aiming intentions directly at you. Oh, if you could only see. Wide unclasp the tables of their thoughts. These same thoughts people this little world. I'm... You shouldn't be here, actually. Really. Stop if you can. That's my opinion. But you've traveled so far, and I want to comfort you with some kind of gift. Will it be enough? I don't know. You made it, kid. You joined the Explorers Club. Unfortunately, all I have is the echo of a language bent backward and refracted into meaninglessness. Stop if you want. There won't be a meaning beyond the meaning outside of a circle. Because the circle and the square are the spirit and the flesh. Is man, da, ah, re, me, fa, so, la, giza. Preservation of the flesh gets discovered by a future generation with enough scientific knowledge to crack the code and radio waves to wake them up from history. Spielberg made a movie about it waking up dinosaurs, but why stop there? The Egyptians knew one day we would discover the secrets in the double helix, so they preserved what mattered and hurled themselves into the future, where a curious cat wanted to see what it was like to wake the dead. And the static on the screen moved and spoke in tones that once spoke to Tesla in his younger days. The mummies were preserved, because the 1% knew we would reach a point where we could crack the code and choose to call back the long-lost dead souls. The code and ice will melt, and we will see a rebirth. You see, they knew even then that it would come to this. They hibernated and waited until the world was ready, and they left their clues why are you still in this room? They led you to this exact moment. To just this precise moment when you made decisions to collide particles into each other just to see what would happen. Sergeant Pepper laughed at the salt of the earth and the beetles scurried down tombs and knew of the curse. They ride the currents of electricity they always have. They made it in their day, electric conductors, and we paid the piper. We danced to the tunes that rode on the waves of 30 kilohertz. Back here, full force, 
we are epileptic puppets. And we keep on dancing to that song on their radio. You don't believe I've been here. That's no matter. I've seen them riding electric currents there upon the beach. A tagged when the afterthought. Internet of things manages when the Internet of Things to manages the... to make connections to all the words that were ever written into this strange place, let there be this kink in the system that boldly states, Well, I might not be a Christian, I believe in God. Now, rather, it's time. Reflect. You say there's only one God. I have been blessed that God has one spirit. You say he will be killed. I say he will be resurrected. You say he will be resurrected. We repeat a silver thread, the words, and reflect again.